Welcome back! We've just visited a Rivenese schoolroom here on Jungle Island, and in it we found some evidence that suggests that Gen is already indoctrinating all the kids here at a really young age to worship and fear him. The most interesting thing we found was a rather macabre toy that seemed to depict what we saw in that mural in the cave that preceded the village. In it, two people were lowered down head first into the mouth of a hungry wark. Now, we still don't know whether or not Gen is actually doing this or not. For all we know, this could just be a story that he tells people just to keep them in line. But I sure hope he doesn't do it. At any rate, we used this toy as an educational tool, and it taught us the Dunny numbers 1 through 10. Now, we've seen four of those numbers, 2 through 5, on the wooden eyes around here. So, let's hope we can find that wooden eye with the number 1 on it. For now, though, we still got more to explore here in this underwater railway system. So let's just pilot the submarine out of here and check it out. Now, if you're keeping track of where we've been on this four-way intersection, we've explored the path that's directly in front of us to the right, and both paths behind us. The one on the right here went to the schoolroom, and the one on the left went where we started. The only one that we haven't gone to is the one on the left here, and thankfully the lever is already set in place, so let's go ahead and get going. Now if you're keeping track of where we've been, then you should know that this goes to the circular platform that we've been seeing, and you can even see the outline of it there underwater. sound. That sound makes me happy. And there it is. And we still have yet to see what it's even used for. Okay, I'm not really sure I like the sound of that. Somebody just banged into this thing from under the water. Well, not much to see here, but there's this handle here. We can see above there. There seems to be some sort of contraption above there. Let's see what this thing does. Ah, it seems to be lowering some sort of bar down to us. Can we touch that? No, we can't. And now it's going back up. Well, that was kind of pointless. So what exactly is this place, anyway? Well, let's lower that bar down again and think about it. Now, notice that that bar has two holes in it that look like they're big enough for an arm or an ankle to fit through. Now, where else have we seen things being lowered down? We saw this in the Rivenese schoolroom, in that toy, where the two guys were being lowered down to the mouth of the hungry wark. And when we stepped on this platform, we heard something with a loud, resounding thud slam into this thing, as well as a mournful cry. So it seems like something was expecting us when we walked down here. Or expecting something to happen. It's not too uh, difficult to decipher what's going on here given that information. It's pretty evident that Gin is using this platform as a place to hold these public executions in which people are lowered down here into this space where the warp comes through and eats them. So what we saw in the Riven East schoolroom is not just a story, it's true. Gen is making these games out of gruesome public executions. That is just disgusting. 
And notice where that thing is positioned. It's right across from the village where everybody can see it. That cannot be an accident at all. Well, let's see if there's more to see over here. Thankfully, this wasn't a dead end. It looks like we've come across another intersection. As usual, I'll go to the right, and I think in this case, going to the left would just take us back to where we started. Now, by process of elimination, you might be able to figure out what uh, this might lead to. Doesn't look like there's any more track ahead. And if we open this up... Yeah, we're here at the village dock. I think this is a good place to park for now. Now, if you continue the following the track around here, we would have ended up back here at the submarine dock where we started. So it's a good thing that we decide to dock here, because from here we can get to those gallows pretty easily. And I think I will call them that, the Wark Gallows. Not exactly a very happy sight. Well, I think we've done pretty much all we can here on Jungle Island. And we've seen quite a bit, too. For one thing, we now know where the people of Riven live. Or at least some of them. We now know just how much control Gen has over them. We've seen the penalty for disobedience, which is not pleasant at all. And we continue to see signs that these rebels might continue to be active around here. We know about these wooden eyes, but we don't know exactly what purpose they serve. And we also know that there's another one out there with a number one on it, but we have no clue where we can find it. Well, we have no other option now available to us except to explore what's in this cart here. It looks like some sort of mine track ahead of us there. But we won't know unless we try this lever, so let's go ahead and do it. We're accelerating at quite a rapid pace here. What the world are these things? Okay, somehow we're underwater, and yet we're in a big, long, tubular hole in the water. We can only guess that somehow these rings have something to do with it. Well, that was certainly interesting. And it looks like we're heading into the island that connects with Temple Island via that bridge. And look up at the upper left there. There's a building up there that looks a lot more modern than anything we've seen here on Riven so far. So that's definitely something I want to check out. Well, it looks like we found the light at the end of this tunnel. And we've reached the end. Yay. That was quite a wild ride. Whoa! Okay, we just got unceremoniously dumped down that chute and thrown into this... whatever this thing is. Well, we're on a new island now. And it looks quite a bit different from the other islands we've been on. I mean, look all around us. There doesn't really appear to be any villagers or any really ornate structures around here. Looks like this is the home of some sort of mechanical concern. In the middle of this lake here, we can see some sort of thing where these pipes converge. So maybe that has to do with where power is directed, or where it comes from. Well, that didn't work. I guess this thing isn't powered right now. But let's look around for a bit. What exactly is this thing anyway? We got a bunch of sawdust or wood chips or something here. And it's not exactly too hard to deduce what this is based on that. Considering that this cart started by the clear-cut area on Jungle Island, 
and it ends up here with a pile of wood chips. It's pretty safe to say that this machine here makes whatever wood is transported here into this form. So, in other words, the cart that we just rode probably wasn't for people. There's that construction in the middle of the lake over there, but I'm going to look around first before I start touching things. This island appears to be inside one giant crater, so, you know, I think I'll call it Crater Island. There's also some sort of building here, and I'll look at that for a minute, but I just want to explore the ground level first. Whatever it is, it appears to be really hot with all these blue flames here. Definitely don't want to get too close to that. And here we got a gigantic pipe that goes up into the cliff over there. Which, thankfully, we can step over. Here's a really tall ladder, and you know how I feel about those. But this one doesn't look too bad compared to the one on the Jungle Island control room. There's a hatch here too, but unfortunately it's locked right now. Well, there's nothing else to do right now except check out those two things we haven't seen yet. That brick building and that construction in the middle of the lake. appears to be some sort of stone bollard or something. There's also a door here, but we can't get in here. There's some sort of red light or something. And it's not too difficult to see why, though, with all those blue flames. Well, here's a valve. I guess whatever power comes through here can be directed to either this pipe or this pipe. And there's a number of uh, controls here. Let's see if they do anything. Well, that didn't help us out. Let's just put it back. What about this thing? Nope, nothing there. Well, that seemed to do something. Let's see what effect that had. It appears that the red light is now gone. Does that mean the blue flames are gone too? Yes, they are. Well, let's see what's inside this thing. There's a ladder in there. But unfortunately, we really can't get to it because this whole area is flooded. Not to mention that there's really no walkway for us to get there either. Well, there's no other choice left. We're going to have to check out whatever this thing here is in the middle of the lake. But we'll do that in the next video.